Hi, welcome back to Jen's Little Place. Um, today I want to do week 16 of our scripture art journal. And this week's scripture is Galatians 6, 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Wow, right? That's, you know, that that's a powerful, powerful scripture. Um, so... I'm going to begin with um, kind of explaining to you, um, well, first of all, I did this with my Cricut, and um, I also have cut this out. I have not started a scent. Well, I did start. I put this on there, but I kind of want to explain to you why I, I have chosen this as my design, because it might seem odd. It, it's a clock. And I'm choosing that for my design because don't we all wish sometimes that people would reap what they sow just a little bit faster? And it just, it seems like, you know, it, it, sometimes it's just so slow. But you know what? I'm, I'm doing this particular design to remind myself that it's not my time. It's God's time. It's not our time. We, you know, we, he knows the perfect time to do everything. So, um, that's the reason why I'm doing, I'm using a clock as my image on this page. It's to remind myself, because how many times have I said in my life, oh, I wish they'd get what they deserve or, you know, that kind of thing. And, you know, we shouldn't feel that way because it's not our job. And also... Um, it's all in God's time, not our time. I'm just um, inking this up a little bit with uh, some orange ink because, I don't know, I just thought it would look nice to just kind of darken those numbers because the Cricut cut it out and, you know, I don't know. I just thought it would look pretty that way. So, I'm going to adhere this to... Um, my clock but I don't know you can let me know in the comments if that makes any sense to you or but to me I don't know I just I, I need a reminder that you know number one it's going to happen to all of us we reap what we sow everybody does it says so in the Bible so it's true but also I have to remember that you know it happens in God's time not mine and so it's I don't know. That's why I'm using a clock to to remind myself of that fact that you know it, it it's going to happen because right here it is, but it's not in my time. It's in God's time, and I have to remember that. And I don't have any idea what I want to set this clock for. It doesn't really make any difference as long as it just looks like a clock. <clears throat> but anyway, I mean I. That's just kind of how, that's just kind of how I envisioned this page was with a, a clock that's, you know, it just to remind me of that. And I, I, I hope that makes sense to you all because it, it, it makes sense in my mind. My husband's mowing the yard, so ignore that. I'm sure you guys can hear that. But... Um, so there's my clock. So it's done. Now I'm going to ink up the edges of this scripture with that same orange ink just to, so it's not quite so stark. Because I'm just gluing all this directly to the journal page. But I don't know. I just, uh, we've been having a lot of rain here. But today is a beautiful day. So I thank God for beautiful days. And it's been lovely today. Pretty weather. I'm not sure how much ink I want to put on this. I'm just kind of doing it sporadically. I don't know. I'm not the best ever at doing this anyway, but I'm learning. And I have so enjoyed this art journal 
for many reasons, but one reason is it's allowed me to try different techniques of things in crafting that maybe I wouldn't have tried. So that's been, it's been kind of nice to do that. Move my scrap paper. And I'm thinking maybe this needs a metal brad in the middle. I think that would make it look interesting, or more interesting anyway. Move my journal over here, and I have some metal brads right here. Let's see, that'd be too big. Um. Move this over here a little bit. Let's see what I've got in here. These are just, I think, just way too big. Yeah, that's just way too big. So I guess the metal ones are just not gonna work out. We'll have to do these. Maybe the button one. I have an orange button. I could do that. Yes, I think I'll do that. I think that looks good. I think that'll be cute. Okay. So now I just need to poke a hole through all of this. I used to use brads all the time and I recently haven't used them quite as much, so. This will be kind of a nice, nice change. I don't know. I just thought it needed a little something. I like that. And it's, it's going to still lay fairly flat. It's not adding a whole lot of bulk to the journal, which I'm always, you know, worried about. I don't want it to be too bulky. So, I'm going to adhere these things, I guess, probably just like that. Sometimes I feel like my pages are a little plain, but, you know, it's all about this right here. You know, it's all about that scripture. And for me, this just really, I don't know, it speaks to me with the clock. It's not about our time, and maybe I'm the only one who thinks that. Maybe I should... Not, I mean, I know I shouldn't feel that way. Obviously, that's why I'm putting this clock on here to remind me not to feel that way. But, you know, sometimes I just think, how do they get away with everything they get away with all the time? And, you know, things of that nature. And then, you know, I have to remind myself, look, this is not, this is not for you to worry about. I'm wondering if I should mat this scripture. I'm thinking yes. So I'm going to do that too real quick. But I don't know. Like I said, you all let me know. Let me know if I'm just abnormal or, or if other people feel that way sometimes. I'm sure maybe I've done things and people have said, wow, how does she get away with that? Or I, I don't know what it would be, but I, you know, I'm definitely not perfect. None of us are. So I, I'm going to strictly eyeball this because that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eyeball it and trim it out. I'm just using craft paper for this. I think it I think it looks okay. And I should have eyeballed a little better than that because I cut off too much. So now I'm gonna have to cut a little more off of this side to even it out a little bit. That's what happens when I eyeball things. So that's matted, and now I'm gonna adhere it to the page. I 
I'm just using the art art glitter glue for this. It's pretty much what I've used throughout the whole book, more or less. I've used some ATG, but for the most part, I've used the art glitter glue. Okay, that is week 16. Let's do a quick flip through of all of my pages. There's the first one. There's one, two, three. Oh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there we go. I hope you all are having a great and blessed week, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.